So my name is Hadrian Calme. I'm working for the Barcelona Supercomputing Center. We do this work with uh, other colleagues, Alberto Gambaruto and Guillermo Uso. And we do the collaboration with the Imperial College. So Professor Dennis Dolly here and Alistair Bates. Um, so the first question is, wh why, why doing the SNF? Perhaps the, the SNF is the most complicated, the most violent uh, inspiration. So for, for us, with the supercomputer, it was uh, a challenge. So it was well suitable for, for HPC. HPC means uh, high performance computing infrastructure. So it was perfectly for us. Also because it's missing literature and uh, study about this field, this in steady uh, flow, as, as we say this since this morning, so steady, quasi steady and unsteady. Uh, also to better understand the flow in the upper way. And also to improve numerically the particle tracking and the particle deposition, above all about the, um, when the turbulence. When there are turbulence, there is a bit of gap about the deposition with the diffusion. So, so to improve numerically, yes. And also, of course, to obtain a precise location of the specific particle deposition. So the geometry until so, so the face, the incorporation of the face the nasal cavity, the throat, until the third generation. So the mesh is the some, some numbers. We do three different meshes, uh, 8 million, 44 million, and 350 mi uh, millions of elements. Um, just to have an idea, the value on the, on the wall for the E plus and the glottis, it was 0 0.5. The boundary condition, in this case, is quite important. Uh, the inflow is a uh, direct condition uh, imposed in the semi-sphere around the face uh, following the 10th order polynomial that uh, based on the experimental results of uh, Dr. Catherine Reni. Um, and the outflow is uh, zero pressure in the third branch. So we, sol we solve the equation with, uh, so we solve Navier-Stokes equation and Lagrangian, uh, Lagrangian system for the particle with our own uh, software. So we are like a 15 person developing a code in Barcelona. So we call the code ALIA, is the highly performance computational mechanics, multi-physics, multi-scale. You can install in many, many platforms. Is highly parallel because it's designed since the from scratch to be parallel. We can solve the fluids, solids, fluids, structure interaction, mechani electromechanism, chemistry, heat transfer, Lagrangian particle, and so on. Uh, it's part of the benchmark suite and PRACE. PRACE is a kind of network um, offer um, um, support of supercomputer if you are a researcher in Europe. So it's a kind of network of supercomputer. And so ALIA is one of the benchmark if you want to suit your install your in the supercomputer. So for, for us, this kind of test is important, is the scalability. The scalability proves your performance on the supercomputer. Uh, for example, if your simulation is uh, 100 hours, if you will, if you, if you need, um, no, if you use 100 computer, 100 processor, you will do this only in one hour. Uh, so it's a perfect scalability. So it's, it's, it's a reason that for us is an important uh, parameter. So we, we do a simulation of the, turbul of the turbulent combustion in the kiln in the supercomputer in US, blue water, and we obtain quite good scalability and 10, uh, 100,000 uh, cores. Some results, the features and the geometry. So first of all, the pressure drop. So the, you don't see the value, but the, the, um, the order of magnitude and the pressure drop for the all upper airways is 500 uh, Pascal. We can see that in the segment, the green segment, um, located in the throat, the most important oscillation occur there. Uh, you can see also that there is um, a flapping, some, some instability in the nasal cavity just after the constriction. So, so demonstrating that the flow is unsteady on the nasal cavity. After the throat, um, of course, there is the presence of the laryngeal jet. Uh, there is also a lot of activity in the vortex and turbulence in the throat with a different shape and different form of the vorticity. The deposition um, is micro uh, particle deposition, so we, we inject uh, four different particle types, 1, 5, 10, and 20. Basically, 
the, the, the most, uh, the largest uh, particle, like a 10 and 20, are trapped in the nasal cavity, playing the role of filter for the high inertial impaction. And the smaller, like a 1 and 5, are um, deposited more uniformly around the, uh, along the airways. For example, in the nasal cavity with the inertial impaction and in the throat, so in, in the glottis, hyperglottis, with the turbulent dispersion. A uh, very interesting thing is the, the position in the olfactory cliff because it's directly direct, uh, related with the brain. So it's an in interesting target. And uh, for example, for the deposition in 10 micro, we observe a quite important uh, doses of aerosol deposited there. So like a 2.5%. Uh, so I think I have time to show. So, so is, is, is a bit of sum up of what I said, is, uh, is a nice video. We have a, a chance to have a visually, we have a designer in the VSC. So, so after doing a lot of work of simulating things, they use the results to, to do a nice uh, simula uh, presentation. So it's a segmentation, so the code. And so this is the results of the simulation. So you can see the, the transition flow in the nasal cavity, the turbulence in the throat, the recirculation in the, in the, na in the nasopharynx, in the um, nasopharynx, yeah. You can see that the, the flow is almost laminar and is laminar in the, turbul in the turbinate, and some reaching the olfactory cleft. <coughs> and the clear turbulence activity in the throat. And this is the deposition. That's it. Thank you.